Okay, this is going to be a really quick video of how to export blocks and put them into the game, Seven Days to Die. Um, export them from Unity. This presumes you have a basic understanding of how to use Unity, that you followed this tutorials on how to um, make blocks and set up the tags correctly in the colliders and all that good stuff. Uh, this tutorial is going to be found and if you look under David Taylor Seven Days to Die you'll come across it pretty quick. Um, basically what I did is I came up with a just hide these. Some spear blocks um, with the heads on it. You know, four, four versions of this. And I kind of wanted them in games. I thought it'd be cool. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and export them all into a Unity 3D file. First, take, let's take a look at the XML. So I have the XML path set up correctly. Blocks, copy head on spears, the in-game name. This is the money shot right here. What this basically is, is it says in the mod folder, in other words, this. There's a resources folder, in other words, this. And there's a file in there called guppyspearheadsunity 3 d in other words, this. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And in that file, there is guppyhead01, guppyhead02, guppyhead03, guppyhead04. Look, guppyhead01, guppyhead02, guppyhead03, guppyhead04. So the way I do this is I drag them one by one because Unity doesn't allow me to drag multiple ones for some reason. And I'm going to right click this, build the bundle in the script that David or Zith has. Um, and then I'm going to choose the correct file name. And so I'm basically going to copy and paste it from here to assure there's no typos. And it's going to build the file. Now when I look in here, boom chicka wow wow, guppy spearheads that unity 3D, which matches this part right here. And then guppy head 01 has all these different prefabs. So this is a way to have multiple blocks into one unity 3D file. So when I go into game, because again my XML is set up correctly, it has um, a config folder which has this blocks XML in it. It has a resources folder which has the Unity 3D file in it. It has a mod info that XML, which if I remember right, for you, I think you got to do something. Let's see. I think you got to also basically copy it and paste it to. Oh, well, let me do that because it's Windows and Windows sucks ass. Um, in order for it to work in Linux systems, it needs to be mod info low, lowercase, I think, though. I don't know. I don't run Linux. So I don't give a fuck. Um, but now when I go in game, I have my new blocks, right? So I have this one, and I have this one, and I have this one, and I have this one. I'm going to go ahead and get a minor helmet. Oops. And you can see you know, basically some heads on spears. And I can pick them up and reset them back down if I want to. Um, I can not walk through them. I can punch them if I want to. Um, pretty much, I think this would be a nice little addition. Kind of makes it a little gross. I mean, they don't really look like the in-game zombies, but the sentiment is there. You kind of get the idea that some bad shit is happening in this area of town. So, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was found helpful by somebody.